what's going on guys my name is essence and welcome back to my channel if you're new here then make sure you subscribe and if you're returning then welcome back we do fun things here today i am trying out every single passion twist method on one head that's what i said so that means i'm doing the rubber band method the braid in method and my personal favorite number three the invisible method so you want to know which method of passion twist installation is the best which one looks the best which one's the fastest which one gets you a better twist which one is easier all of that good stuff i'm going to try all of them right now i have some rubber bands soaking in a little bit of olive oil because apparently that's a thing so this passion twist hair here is actually from an amazon seller and the last passion twist video that i posted you guys were like oh my gosh you got you paid so much for your hair like yo they're ripping you off okay this one is from Amazon and I'm going to leave the link down below if you like the results of this passion twist then you can go ahead and buy the hair yourself. You're welcome. In my five things you should know about passion twist video you guys know that I use nine packs of hair. I only have six packs this time. I didn't buy backups or anything so we're going to have to finesse it. We're going to have to work with it. I only have six packs of hair and yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to brush out this old braid out okay guys so my hair is all detangled now so what i'm gonna do is part my hair now you guys know that one of the hardest things about passion twists is parting your hair so if you want to know more about parting your hair my actual passion twist tutorial actually goes through that so i'm not going to show you in this video how to part your hair what i'm going to do is grab the passion twist hair and just show you really quickly how i separate it and i'm going to use two pieces per square per square per square of hair yeah <laughs> So the method I'm going to start with first is the rubber band method. So I'm going to go ahead and part my hair, section it off, get the rubber bands out of the olive oil and come back and put it in. Let, let's see how this goes. Okay guys, so I am back. I finished most of my hair and I really only have this section to go right up here. So I think maybe in another hour or so I should be done. I have this corner right here and I think on this one I might go with the rubber band method. So I have my rubber bands here soaking in some olive oil because apparently that's a thing. So let me grab that. There are actually two ways to do the rubber band method and so I'll go ahead and show you both. So the first way is to grab your rubber band and put it over your section. So now that your section is in, this is how it's looking, you're actually going to grab your crochet needle and you're going to crochet the hair through and then twist it down. If you're someone who finds that your hair is slipping a lot, this would probably be the best method for you. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two pieces of hair. So now I've fluffed two pieces of hair and what I'm going to do is grab my crochet needle and I'm going to, and I'm going to put it through the base of my rubber band. Then I'm going to go ahead and put these two pieces of hair in the crochet needle, close it up, pull it through. Okay, so now that it's through, I'm going to find the hole here and I'm going to put my hair and half of the passion twist hair through the loop. So not the whole chunk, but only two out of four pieces. So my hair, half the hair through the hole. Uh oh. Uh, okay okay and I'm gonna pull the passion twist hair tight and then I'm gonna split my hair into two and just match it up with my two halves of passion twist hair and go ahead and twist so oh gosh okay so I would say so far the downside with the rubber band method is it can easily tangle um, when you're pulling your hair through that loop. If you're not paying super close attention to what you're, what hair you're pulling through, it can tangle pretty easily, especially if your hair is very silky. Okay, so let's move on to the second rubber band method. This one involves no crochet needle. So what you do is you split your hair in half like that. You take the braiding hair, the twisting hair, you put it in the middle like that. You take your hair on both sides Okay, and then you rubber band this. Then you split your hair in two and you join it with the other halves of the passion twist, like this. And then you just twist.
This one is the rubber band with the crochet. And this one is the rubber band with no crochet but just the elastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the braiding method over here. Let's see how that goes. Hey guys, so I want to interrupt this passion toast video real quick because I promised you guys on my Instagram that I would give you an update of my teeny tea that you saw me drinking in my stories. So I just wanted to come here real quick and let you know that I've been drinking it for about a week and I really do like it, you guys. I do have a 15% um, off coupon code. I'm gonna link it down in the description box and I'm gonna put it right here on the screen for you guys if you wanna try this tea. This one is the skinny tea, but they also have so many other types of teas for your skin, for digestion, for nursing moms a whole bunch of different stuff so if you guys want to try tea me i would highly recommend it i love the tea and i love that it's loose leaf that means it's more natural it's better for you it's more healthy and i also love absolutely love this um what do you call this like a strainer cup like a, a the cup that it comes with i'm gonna yeah i don't know what to call it right now thermos whatever i love the cup that it comes with because you can actually steep your tea right in here and if I wasn't holding my camera in this hand, I would show you this bottom white part here is actually a storage compartment where you can actually unscrew it and store like vitamins or even more tea in the bottom and screw it back on and take it to go. So I think that is genius. So I'm going to leave my coupon code down below for you guys. Um, I'm letting you know that I love the tea and I'm letting you know that it's a go. So if you're not already following me on, on my Instagram, then I definitely recommend that you follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss out on stuff like this. So... Back to the passion twist video. Okay, so the braiding method is the one that I'm most nervous about just because I feel like it's the one that's prone to more tangling and it's the one that you need the most skill with, in my opinion. So I've never done this before, so I'm just, I'm just gonna wing it. So I'm just putting the hair over my hair like this and while it's on top, I'm gonna take some of my hair and put it with this half and then take half of this piece and put it with the other half and then I'll just have one in the middle. And then I'm just going to start braiding. And you don't wanna braid it too far down because you don't want the braids to be, you don't want the braid to stand out. So just enough for your hair to be well integrated and then once it is, you can just take this lone wolf piece here that was the third piece, put it with one of the others, and twist it. That wasn't too hard. So what I'm also doing on the way down is I'm twisting the piece in like that until I pass my natural hair. So my natural hair stops right here, and then so I'm really integrating it in until I pass it, and then once I do, I just twist normally. So this is what the um, braiding looks like. So not too bad, it looks quite neat actually. My first time, I didn't think I did too shabby. There's a little lump here, I don't know if that's just my technique or, technique or what, but there is a little lump there, so. So this is the braiding technique. This is how the twist turned out. And then here are the twists from the rubber band method. The twists turned out pretty much the same. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue doing the rest of the hair, and when I get down to the invisible method, which is my personal favorite, I'm gonna come back at the front so you can see a better view. Okay, so now I have the hair. What I'm gonna do is split this section, so I have my square, take this section and split it in half, and then take the passion twist hair and lay it across the front like that. So you see there's my hair split in half. What I'm gonna do here is turn the turn my hair and the passion twist hair this way. So I'm just twisting it and what that's doing is securing it on my root. And then I'm gonna take this side and twist it this way. So I'm twisting it, now that they're both twisted, I'm gonna take both of these and just twist them together like that. So this is the method that I was using through mo throughout most of my hair just because I'm faster at it, so it's gonna be simple for me to do everywhere. So I'm gonna show you how this turns out when I'm all done. And we're gonna compare it to the braiding method and the two rubber band methods. And let's see if there's a difference. 
Okay guys, so let's get in close here. These twists here are from the twisting in method or the invisible method. Okay, so I only have a little bit left to go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish and then I'm gonna come back and tell you my final thoughts. Okay guys, so you saw every single method of installing passion twists. The braiding method, two rubber band methods, and the invisible method. So before we get into my conclusion, I'm gonna ask you the question of the day. Which method of passion twist installation do you think is the best or the easiest for you? Comment down below and let me know your answer to the question of the day. Let's start with the braiding method. I think that the braiding method was actually pretty neat. But overall, this method seems like the one that you need the most skill for, which means that if you're a beginner at Passion Twist, it probably won't be the best or easiest for you to navigate in the beginning. So maybe if you're an experienced hairstylist already or someone who already knows how to do your own hair, then you can try the braiding method and I think you'll like it. So moving on to the two rubber band methods. So I think that the rubber band me method with the crochet needle, it was a little bit challenging with this hair in particular because the hair is so silky that sometimes you can get frizz or um, like knotting and stuff like that. But I think that the rubber band method with the crochet needle was okay. It wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, it wasn't the easiest and it wasn't the hardest. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. So this may be something that you can do if you are slightly skilled and maybe you want a different look or you don't like the way a braid looks, then I would say go for the rubber band method with the crochet needle. So the rubber band method with no crochet needle, I think is personally the most beginner friendly. If you're starting from bare minimum, if you're starting from scratch, I think that the rubber band method with no crochet needle is pretty much the most beginner friendly. You basically need no skills, but I don't think that this method turns out looking the best out of all of them. I think that you get a little bit of like a bulb in the front and you get a little frizz here and there. So I personally think that it's the most beginner friendly, but I don't think that it's the best finish. Moving on to the last one, the invisible method. I do think this one is kind of somewhere in the middle. I think that it's easy to teach yourself this method, but I don't think that it's extremely beginner friendly and might be a little bit intimidating, but I think that this method is the best finish out of all of them. It looks the most natural and I think that if you start in the back and work your way to the front, by the time you get to the front of your head, you pretty much be able to master the invisible method. So guys, that pretty much sums up the video. Comment down below and let me know your answer to the question of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.